In this video, I'm going to share my income report for January 2023 so that you can see what is possible by publishing low content books on Amazon KDP. Hello, home bosses. My name is Nuria Corby from thehomeboss.com. Welcome to my channel, which is all about helping you to make money online. It's time for another income report, and I'm here to show you what's possible by publishing low content books on Amazon KDP. For those of you who are not familiar with low content books, they are books like notebooks, planners and journals. So you don't have to write them, you just design them. Now, I know there are lots of videos out there that show you how to make thousands of dollars every month by publishing notebooks on Amazon KDP. But let me tell you, it's not quite as easy as that. However, with the right approach, you can make a great living on Amazon KDP and I'm here to prove it. And that's why I publish these income reports to encourage you, to motivate you and to show you what's possible. And also to show you that success on Amazon KDP doesn't come from just uploading tons of books. It comes from the quality of the books that you upload. So get ready to hop onto the screen with me and I show you how much I made in January 2023. And after that, I'll show you my tips and tricks and how you can do the same. There's no mystery, no trick, no formula just hard work and doing it the right way. I've got my coffee, grab yours and let's look into the screen. So here is my income report for January 2023 and uh, you can see that in total I sold 3723 books. Now I know you're going to ask me how many books have you got in total? I have 741 books in total and it's a mix of low content and children's books. I think the most books that I'm selling at the moment are low content books and those are things like planners and uh, memory journals and ooh, quite a lot of log books and I made quite a few notebooks at the beginning and they're starting to sell now for some reason as well. So I do have a very good mixture of different kinds of books. So. I've sold 3,723 books in total and you can see that most of them are paperbacks. The orange indicates the number of paperbacks that I'm selling and then the purple are hardcover so you can see that it's a little bit less and um, I don't really sell uh, many ebooks or other kinds of books so it's between paperbacks and hardcovers really. And if you're asking me how many books do I upload every day or every week, it's difficult to answer because it's not a regular thing that I do. I can upload maybe two or three books in one day if they're very simple notebooks or very simple books. And then other books take me two or three months to make. So it's really difficult to answer that question because it just varies so much. And also what I wanted to say is that the amount of books doesn't matter. It's the quality that matters. So even though the amount of books matter because the more you produce the more choice people have to buy from you and also the better you get because the more you create the better you get but that's really where it stops being an advantage to have a lot of books it's better to have good quality books than to have a lot of books so don't worry about the quantity just worry about the quality of your books. So for those of you who don't know me, I started in November 2019 and I was lucky to start then because it was quarter four. And as we all know, quarter four is one of the busiest times of year, which is October, November and December. And that is because that's when people buy Christmas gifts. So it's a very, very busy time. And I started publishing in November. So it was a little bit easier for me to get the initial sales. And I I think I made my first sales after I had published about 30 books and uh, it took a little while before I could see a, a significant income. It wasn't until May the following year that I started to really sell more books where it was really making a difference to my income. So it does take a long time for things to get started and uh, it's very up and down. So every Every year can be different, every month is different. It's, um, it's very strange, but the one thing that really surprised me this year, normally I don't sell many books in January. Once the big Christmas rush is over, 
my Januarys have always been really low and really bad <laughs> and this year has been a totally different thing because this year if I hop on to my book royalties as you can see I made $12,136 in royalties in January and that is absolutely amazing I've never even dreamt I could earn this much in a January never mind in any other month but especially in January that is really really unusual and there's several things that happened towards the end of last year that I think have created this and also if you have a look at the the graph here normally my months are very up and down so I get days where I sell a lot of books then suddenly I don't sell any this month has been or last month January has been pretty consistent I've had good days throughout January so I think um, the best day was where I sold 538 dollars worth of books and the worst day was probably the 1st of January and that is because the 1st of January is New Year's Day and not a lot of Amazon delivery drivers work that day so not a lot of deliveries were happening and as you know our sales get recorded when they are delivered or when they're dispatched and um, I think that is why we don't have many sales on January the 1st and I'm sure that's the same for everybody that uh, that publishes on Amazon KDP but the rest of the month is just absolutely amazing I never expected this let me just quickly show you my spending as well because of course we have to take away what I spend on ads so on ads I spend one thousand three hundred and twenty dollars which is quite high but I'm getting there I'm learning how to optimize my ads a bit better also in previous years I used to switch my ads off in January and this year I continued because they were doing quite well so it just depends on how your ads are doing you can decide to either switch them off or keep them going I decided to keep them going and even increase some of them and I created some new books that I I also started running ads for in January and this has all helped to to increase my my income overall and if we take this away from um, my gross royalties so we take spending versus total royalties that leaves me with net royalties of ten thousand eight hundred and sixteen dollars and the other thing that we have to deduct from that is any spending that i have for subscriptions for example i subscribe to canva pro to creative fabrica to a few other things which is less than a hundred dollars a month but you have to deduct that as well and that leaves me with over ten thousand dollars of net profit which is absolutely amazing and I think for me personally it was the fact that one of my brands is really taking off I will talk more about how to brand your books how to create a brand for your books because I think that is one of the things that has really helped me this year and uh, it's it's about promoting your books and marketing your books and you can do that of course with advertising as you have just seen but it's more than that it's promoting on social media channels and just creating a brand for your books and I will make videos about that too I'm making a course on that at the moment and um, I've been writing a book about that as well so I will make more videos on that side of things on branding and I can't tell you how happy I am about this result because this is my best January ever so far and uh, I'm hoping that we can make this year a really great year this has certainly been a really great start so that was the detailed income report and uh, now I want to tell you a little bit about how you can do that as well hopefully and how you can increase your sales and if you're a beginner then it will take some time to get to this point I started back in November 2019 as you know and uh, it took a little while to get to where I am now but I'm really glad that I did start and that I continued and didn't give up I know most of you would like some kind of formula or some kind of way to take it step by step the same way that I do and unfortunately that doesn't exist because what works for me might not work so well for you and 
what works for other people might not work for me. So you do have to find your own way of doing things. But saying that, let me give you some tips on how you can eventually get there and what you should definitely do to, to up your game and to get more sales on KDP. So first of all, read the Amazon guidelines. I know the guidelines can sound very boring and it's a very long text to read and it can take forever, but you do need to read the Amazon guidelines and the terms and conditions because I see so many accounts being shut down for silly mistakes that if they had read the guidelines on Amazon, they wouldn't have made those mistakes and they wouldn't have risked their accounts. So when you hear about accounts being shut down, most of the time it's because people have made mistakes and we're all beginners at one point, we can all make mistakes and uh, it's the best way to avoid doing that by reading the guidelines and sticking to the guidelines. You have to play by the rules and they are Amazon rules. The second big important point is to research and make books in niches that you understand. There is no point in making a book in something that you don't really know much about and you're copying somebody else's book. That is not going to get you the sales. You have to bring something unique to the table, something that other people haven't published. So it's a good idea to research something if you're, if you're not too familiar with the niche just really study it. But the best thing to do is to publish books in niches that you understand. So for example, I really love gardening and I'm really into gardening. So I like to publish gardening planners, books about gardening, anything to do with plants and and gardenings. That, that is my kind of niche. But I also love planners and I can combine that with my love of gardening. I love writing children's books. So I've created a few children's books as well. So it really depends on what you like. If you have a particular hobby you're good at, make a book in that niche because you are the best person to know what you need from that book. And if you run a business, you could make a book that helps people in the same kind of business as you. And uh, so, for example, we could make a, a planner for KDP, something like that. So it's what you understand and what you know about. It's important to make those kind of books. If I made a a book on sports that would be terrible because I don't understand it and I have no interest in it and that wouldn't be a very good idea. So really pick something that you know about and that you love. At least if you love it, you can read about it and really learn about it. The next great tip is to improve your cover design. Your cover is the first thing that people see on Amazon when they're browsing through all the books. And it's really important to make your cover in a way that people can see it clearly, even when they're browsing on their phones. When they're browsing on their phones, the thumbnail of your book is tiny and it really has to stand out against the competition. So make your covers really pop against the other books in your niche and also make the titles really big and bold and people can see them and they know exactly what the book is about straight away. So cover design is really important and if you're not very good at cover design, give it to somebody that understands it, outsource it. There are people on Fiverr that do cover design. So there's always other ways to do things if you're not very good at it yourself or keep practicing. And <laughs> that's the other thing. We're not um, experts when we start something we need to learn as we go along. So the more you create and the more you you practice, the better you will get. And keep your titles and subtitles as short as possible and use your most relevant keywords in the titles and subtitles. The other thing is have a mix of seasonal and evergreen books. For those of you who don't know what evergreen books are, evergreen books are books that sell all year round and seasonal books are books that sell at a particular time of year. For example, seasonal books are Valentine's Day books or Christmas books or Easter books. So there are a lot of books that people create for a particular time of year. They're seasonal books, but you also have to have evergreen books so that they can sell the whole year round. My personal favorite are books that are evergreen, but that can also target a season. For example, I'll give you an example. Um, Father's Day. There are lots of books that you can create for Father's Day, but then people can also buy them for their father's birthday so they can still sell throughout the year. 
or you could make a Valentine's Day book but not just for Valentine's but something that somebody can give to their wife or their girlfriend or their husband throughout the year just to tell them that they love them so even though it's seasonal it can also work during the other times of the year so those are my favorite types of books but have a good mix of seasonal and evergreen because you find that the people that have a lot of seasonal books they sell a lot in the season they're targeting but then the sales drop off so you need to have a mix of other books as well and the other thing is don't follow trends just because everybody is doing it you're really competing with a lot of people then and it might not be a niche that you know much about so trends are great but for me i don't really go into that and also they don't last very long something that is very trendy now may not be so trendy next year and then you've created something that doesn't last long so evergreen and seasonal have a good mix of that and that is the best way forward so i hope you enjoyed this income report i hope that uh, you found some of the things helpful if you're a beginner don't worry it takes time just do the right thing follow the guidelines and just increase your your book catalog make more and more books the number of books doesn't matter it's the quality of the books that matters but also at the same time the more books you make the more you're practicing and the better you get so it's a little bit of both really but i really hope that this has helped you and i'm really grateful that i've had such a great january it's quite unusual as i said before but um, hopefully this will continue and hopefully we can have a really good year the other thing i wanted to tell you quickly about which might help you in creating more sales is my marketing calendar and you can download that free from my website it's a calendar that tells you all the important days for the year 2023 and especially if you're making seasonal books it's really good for those but also you can use it to promote your books there's a lot of tips and niche ideas in that calendar and I'll leave a link below this video so you can download it it's completely free you can get it on my website and before you go please like and subscribe to my channel I would be ever so grateful for that and I hope to see you again very soon thank you so much for watching bye bye